I am not, 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 not in your curly. Okay. <laughs> Here I am, at your front door, knocking like a Girl Scout, secretly taking steroids, because she wants to make the gymnastics team this fall. I walk down up your driveway, like a door-to-door -door salesman selling you what you need, like in that Twilight Zone episode where the guy with the magic suitcase gets jacked. I then proceed up your front walk and onto the porch where I stand now, knocking at your door so quietly you cannot even hear it. Knocking so quietly you have to wonder, am I really knocking at all? I am making no sound at all and I am not, 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 not in your curtilage. Well, I am not, 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 not in your curtilage. Well, I'm not, 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 not in your curtilage. Howdy, neighbor. You didn't answer the door, so I decided to come round the back. I am slowly walking around your side yard and into the back. I can see so many things through your windows, walking as I am through your yard. You have so many things in your house. Some of them seem suspicious to me. Who keeps matches? Who keeps aluminum foil anymore? Looks like that Statue of Justice. Yeah, the one. Second shelf down from the top, dark wood bookcase in the living room. Posterior corner, is she holding, is she holding, is she holding what I think she's holding? Oh my word. A scale, a scale for weighing things. Now that's something. I'm finding out so many things about you, but. Curtilage, no, no, well, I'm not, 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 not in your curtilage, curtilage, curtilage. I am so glad you could join me in the mudroom. The back door was open, and I uh, saw that this was just a mudroom, not part of the living area where uh, one might expect privacy. I must emphasize at this point that I am not in your curtilage. I am also required to tell you, by law, that I am not required, by law, to inform you that this contact is entirely non-coercive and voluntary. On my part, on your part, on both our parts. But let's cut to the chase. Now that I'm in the mudroom, I'm going to have to do a quick run through the house, uh, just for my safety. Um, in case evil men with uh, handguns pop out from behind your sofa. I need to find them for my safety. You don't mind, do you? Because I'm not, 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 not in your curtilage. Because I'm not, 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 not in your curtilage, 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 curtilage. There are so many things in your house that I am picking up on. Your computer, your other computer, your smartphone. Your iPod. These I am putting in a Faraday bag. If Michael Faraday could see us now, he would want us. Well, he would want to. Uh, he'd want to see your pictures too. You know, and the movies. He would have never seen a movie in his whole life because they weren't invented yet. I would have him. I would have had him uh, down to my house, and we would drink cold beer, and I would thank him and tell him we got to see the movies just because of his magic bag that I'm now putting your computer into. Object 6. Oh, 
would make a dog sit still and quiet, I reckon. Object 7 would... make him turn his head a bit and beckon. Object 10 would have him pawing at the floor. Something tells me. Object 12 would have him walking, have him wailing like a hound, watching a uh, cat get hand-fed some meat. It's all the same. It's all a signal. If you, for your part, could just tell me, are you the only one who touches your computer? Are you the only one who writes what's on its mind? What is your password? You say you lost your SD card. How am I to believe that? Do I look like I was born yesterday? Please, uh, don't, don't move your arms anymore. It makes me nervous.
Hopefully you'll leave this room. And if you want me to shut up about it, turn on your webcam and let people see you. Otherwise, you officially are fat and ugly, and no one wants anything to do with you. Not me. I don't like you. I, as a matter of fact, I know you're fat and ugly. You're that typical fat, out of shape pig. Oh, poor, poor Arian. Oh, he just is getting the worst of it this evening. The poor little baby. Pretty soon he's gonna come in and say, Oh, my tummy hurts. My tummy hurts. Oh, I gotta get my medicine. Oh, my tummy hurts so much. Oh, my tummy hurts so much. <laughs> wow, isn't it funny? Karen Ragland is an admitted handicapped person and wants to key up and tell jokes about somebody having a stomach ache. Karen. The ladies in here are gone. Well, except me. Um, the room's changed. We're more politically correct. Well, poor puppy. You know, poor little sick puppy. So let's put a lot of paper down on the floor and give him a little bit of canned dog food and a lot of water and just ignore him. That's a really good question. What actually happened, I was going to go down there. I brought my webcam and I was going to beat the crap out of Hoffman Spade on my webcam. What happened, I get to the door of the hotel and, and Pop's exact words were, I'm not opening this door unless you promise that you're not going to come in here and be Billy Badass. That was Pop's exact quote. So I said, all right, I promise I'm not going to hurt you. No. Uh, uh, I won't say your last name on the mic, but Joseph, Joseph, please stop talking in the third person. Okay, Joseph? Joseph, listen. No, no, Joseph, you, you talk a lot. Just listen to me. I'm going to answer your question. I'm, don't queue up on me. Don't queue up on me. I, yeah, no, no. Because you never finish. That's the problem. You never finish. I'm going to take you off ignore it because I just, I just want you to listen for a second. The link that I posted, are you claiming that's you? That picture, the, the image shack photo? I haven't clicked on the link, so I couldn't tell you, and I won't click on the link, so I couldn't tell you what's on the link. You got a great ass! <laughs> you know what's funny is, American Aryan, I don't give a dick what you look like, okay? Get off of me. I know you, you have such a hot for me, and I am so above you in class and every... Another skankly uh, keen up on this mic. You know, she's obviously lacking something in her life that she has to keep up being and be like, I'm so pretty, but I'm not showing anybody. Oh, here oh, that. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Check this out. Listen, we all know this is Yahoo Chat. Let's all not fucking kid ourselves, people. It's very easy to key up on this mic or to hide in text and be a totally different person than what you really are. But when you get on microphone and when you get on, on webcam and people meet you in real life, which is what I've done, you cannot sit back and say, I'm fat or I'm ugly, because I'm not. And it's blatantly obvious, in the, and everyone knows that. Uh, Baz, on the other hand, sits... Bab sits back and does her typical, the typical Yahoo fat. Well, only a couple of people. I'd let them see my picture, but I'm not showing you, American Airy. It's not proving anything. It, it, there's no proof to you. There's, that's not proof of anything. Well, actually, what she can do is prove me wrong if she wants to. But if she wants to. I could have been for about a month and a half. With the screen name that I came in under the old Yahoo, I, I went to a lesbian room and captured um, uh, a picture of a half decent broad. And the, and the only thing that Arian wanted me to do is turn my webcam on. PM me all the time. Until one night, I was all fucking. I was sitting here drinking Johnny Walker uh, Blue Label. And I was typing in, and then I said, "Oh, you want to? Do you, you want to see who I am, Arian? Do you want to really see who I am?" And he was like, "Yeah, turn your webcam on." And then I just clicked on the goddamn microphone. I said, "Arian, it's fake." And I've been, I've been fucking stringing you along for about a month and a half, you big fucking dummy.
and all of a sudden he left. He left. He uh, left. We, uh, listen, that's another Yahoo story. Uh, even what you're talking about, Spades, is from over five years ago. Get over it. It never happened. Uh, it p- produced these uh, screen captures that you supposedly have. You don't have them, dick, so stop lying. Somebody else did it. One of the other girls was doing it. No, they didn't. People, Arian, watched me do it. Knew I was doing it.
to feel safe as a baby in the womb. I am the prosecutor. Oldest Joyce's book, Ulysses. I create the thesis. I will show you how to give an antiseptic look at the facts and perceive and believe as I do and you must to feel safe as a baby in the womb the defendant rest assured here is feces his alibi will be knocked to pieces in the adversarial process with his every word on the stand his sentence doth increases so glad my overseers did not give this one no prosecuesis, as they are woefully want to do. The Hegelian synthesizer of one and all, that's the law. In the days of 18 and 3, Madison versus Marbury. The Supreme Court will hear to report, keep America free. My pegs, my pegs, my pegs, my law. I am the defense attorney. I do my best with the budget that I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. Do, 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 do. Burn out the night. I move to suppress. Uh, but to my distress, the motion never favorably rests. Not thus far, anyways. So what my lament is herein concerning is this. I got no money for an expert on a cognitive learning. Got no money for an expert on a palm print and Got no money for an expert on cell phone data recovery we got the indictment whoops that's it for discovery the hegelian synthesizer of one and all that's the law in the days of 19 and 25 the carroll court said if you don't want to get framed then just don't drive my pegs, my pegs, my pegs, my law. I am the judge. I used to be a prosecutor. Funny thing, most of us used to be that more all the time. I would call myself a tough on crime judge. I am not the Hegelian synthesizer. But I am a part of the Hegelian Synthesizer. Uh, the Hegelian Synthesizer has itself inside of it as constituent parts. Uh, little dialectics, micro dialectics, if you will. Uh, dialectics within dialectics. Proceeding, if you want to visual it, uh, visualize it in the manner of a fractal. Yes. Anyway, I had decided that the motion to suppress would be denied, and my work is basically done here. See what the prosecutor wants in at some point. Yes, I, uh... Okay, Kitty, off the lyrics. 
The Hegelian synthesizer of one and all. That's the law. In the days of 20 and aught six, Lagavista found, or at least strongly implied, you can beat the rap, but you can't beat the ride. My pegs, my pegs, my pegs, my law. Your trash. Do you like your trash, Wyatt? Ever been in a riot? Ever been in a riot? Bye! Cause I know that it's just a strong play tonight. Tomorrow's a star. About something that they wanted But just couldn't do They sing like they feel Make their appeal She said six colors in the rainbow If you don't count blue There were tears 
tears in my eyes as her jet hit the skies. Tokens of past affection may burn in my room. I analyze lies and I don't realize the lies that I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. Yes, okay, get ready. Okay, I, I am going to get ready. Oh, sorry, I was all tabbing over. All tab. There's no alt. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum.